Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, life coach Deb McGregor is back, and this week we are talking about the themes of spring cleaning your emotions. This is certainly an interesting one. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, good morning. <laughs> I know it's like we say the E word, and it's like, oh, what are we going to talk about? Yep. Yeah, the emotions, yes. which for so many people is actually something that we can avoid. And I, one of the things I love to talk about with spring cleaning our emotions is mm -hmm. sort of there's sort of this analogy of when we go to eat a big meal yep. and sometimes we fill ourselves and fill ourselves and fill ourselves to so the next thing when it's like, oh, let me just flop on the couch. <laughs> well, our emotions are kind of the same way yeah. because sometimes we take in things, we take in things and we don't necessarily talk about them. Mm -hmm. We don't process them. And the next thing we know, it's like, oh, I just don't even know where to start. Yep. This is why we need to spring clean our emotions. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about impact of emotions on us. I mean, for you, mm -hmm. what's an emotion that you tend to notice the most in yourself? Well, I'd say normally I'm pretty happy. So then when I am feeling a little bit sad or down, I definitely notice that right away. So you have an awareness right yes. away, like something's just not here. And one of the things I love to invite people to really think about is that emotions are actually not good or bad. Okay. It's actually about presencing the emotions that helps us start spring cleaning a little bit. Yeah. And usually what happens is when we have the good emotion, the, the thing that we would name as the good emotion, yes. I'm gonna actually reframe that to an above the line emotion. Okay. Above the line energetically tends to be those things like happiness, delight, appreciation, right? Those yeah. tend to be above the line emotions. And with those, we love those, right? Because mm -hmm. we can just go out. What happens sometimes is we get what I would call below the line emotions. Okay. So energetically, those are those things like sadness, like fear, like anger, frustration. Those are the things we tend to just push down and we avoid. Okay, interesting. So not necessarily thinking of certain emotions as good or bad, but above, above and below the, the line. Above the line and below the line. Because okay. we're going to give a secret sauce to everybody in just a second okay. here about <laughs> above the line and below the line. And what happens is those below the line emotions, because energetically they can influence so much, mm -hmm. when we push those down, and they, these are the ones that we're talking about spring cleaning a lot, right? Because those below the line we tend to avoid. And what we know about avoidance is that it actually increases stress, it increases our anxiety. And so what's going on here is that if we haven't done the spring cleaning, all of a sudden we are experiencing more stress and more anxiety. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually kind of made some little things. So okay. like, for example, if I were going to say, hey, what would appreciation say to being, well, that's, that's good. Like, what would appreciation say to being hurt? If we can start to focus on the above the line and what it would say to the below the line, it's actually a really fast way to start spring cleaning the emotion. Okay. Because we can get clear about what appreciation looks like, we get clear about the hurt, but we can also get clear about, if I were to put my focus on this above the line, what would that actually do to the below the line? Does that make sense? Interesting, yes. Kind of reframing those negative or below the line emotions. Yeah, and, and isn't it interesting how we can immediately go to like, oh, how do I feel about this? And one of the things you'll hear us talk a lot about coaching is name it to tame. It. Yeah. The minute that we can start naming the emotion, we can actually start taming the emotion. Mm -hmm. And that's a big part of it. Another thing about emotions, what's so interesting energetically, is that we have some that are very constricting. We have some that can actually start to be transitional. And then we have some that are expansive. Okay. So when we think about things like love and harmony, right? You can just feel it. Rejoice, yes. right? We just want to expand what we're doing. But I start thinking about sadness and hopelessness. It's constricting, right? Yep. I can't do anything from this place. Transitional ones, those are the ones where we get super frustrated. Like, have you ever been frustrated? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't it interesting how frustration actually moves you to a place of wanting to do something about it? Yes. So we, it's in a way, they become transitional. It's like a transitional emotion. So as we are working on the spring cleaning of emotions, we want to get really clear about what emotions we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. Is this emotion above the line or is it below the line? If it's below the line, I might want to get a little more awareness about what is really going on here. Yeah. You know, and sometimes you'll hear people say, like, I'm so angry. Angry is a secondary emotion. Mm -hmm. Like, what is behind that anger? And a lot of times it's hurt, it's disappointment, right? Yeah. And then we move into that. So when we move into this place of really getting clear about what's there and actually looking, okay, I'm going to take this above the line. I'm going to apply it to the below the line. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kind of notice what's showing up for me. Does this make sense? Yes, it's actually making a lot of sense. And this is a really kind of interesting perspective on it. Yeah, absolutely. I love, I love doing this. I did put together, I know a lot of people want to learn more, right? Yes, like we yeah. get our little segments here and then it's like, oh, but I want to know more. 
I actually put together a spring cleaning your emotions. It's, I do what I call pop-up calls. They're free to come to. Um, the information should be popping yeah. up there. Of course, it's on my website, debmcgregor.com. But come show up. It's been so fun. Like people just show up, people that don't know each other. And we talk about these topics yes. and we actually dig into them for people. So it actually helps them to process these and start spring cleaning their own emotions. I mean, let's face it. What doesn't need a little spring cleaning, right? Oh, yes, definitely. I have a list. <laughs> yeah, I have a list at home even. And so one of the things that I think people can also appreciate is instead of living in this state of chaos around the emotions, yes. the spring cleaning actually helps you get more clarity. Yep. And with that clarity, you can actually move forward in life. Mm -hmm. Like I am this big proponent of getting clarity about what's going on. Yep. And when you have clarity about the emotions, it actually helps you move forward. And I think it can, it can really help a lot of people. Well, certainly, yes. I definitely learned a lot from this segment and just really focusing on reframing those things, too. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing. Emotions are a thing, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> and we don't want it to be the thing hiding in the corner. We want to presence them. Mm -hmm. We want to process them. And then we want to be able to move forward and eventually find those expanding ones, which really is where we find that place of growth for our lives. Yes, definitely. Okay, how can we find more information about your pop-up that you're going to do and then about your services in general? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, DebMcGregor.com, it's probably the easiest place to get everything. Of course, we do also have, there's a little QR code there if you want to join us for Spring Cleaning Emotions. It's free to attend, 30 minutes. It's so much fun. That'll be on April 20th. Uh, we do them on 9 o'clock on Saturdays. I started moving my stuff a lot to Saturdays because a lot of us, we yep. have jobs outside the home we're working we've got activities um, yes. so that should work and you can find everything on my website and of course you got to be getting your joy notes every Friday I do a nice yes. little like a little empowerment thing on Friday and it's been fun we've had a lot of great uh, viewers mm -hmm. who've been signing up for the joy notes and getting great feedback people love just little this little joy note that comes to them yes absolutely well thank you so much Deb thanks so much for having me it's awesome of course all right everyone stick around we have more North Dakota today coming right up after this short break